Hello everyone, welcome to Clown World News. We got Trump talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. Let's go. Are you going to condemn the actions of vigilantes like Kyle Rittenhouse? Um, well, we're, we're looking at all of it. Uh, that was an interesting situation. You saw the same tape as I saw. And uh, he was trying to get away from them, I guess, it looks like. And he fell. And then they very violently attacked him. And it was something that we're looking at right now, and it's under investigation. But. Uh, I guess he was in very big trouble. He would have been, I, he probably would have been killed, but it's under, it's under investigation. Do you think private citizens should be taking guns? I'd like to see law enforcement. Yeah, so you heard it from, from Donnie J himself, DJT. Uh, you saw the same tapes we saw. Uh, it looks like he was in trouble. Looks like he was trying to get away. And uh, yeah, he probably would have been killed. Thank you, President Trump. Thank you for being the most base president we've had in a long time. Let's let's go on. What else do you have to say, Donnie? This should be taking I'd like to see law enforcement take care of everything. I think everything should be taken care of, law enforcement. But again, we have to give our cops back, our police back, their dignity, the respect. They're very talented people. They're strong. They're tough. They can do the job. But we've taken it away. We don't want to have when somebody makes a mistake he chokes or in some cases you have bad cops we have to take care of that in other cases they choke they're under they have a quarter of a second a quarter of a second to make a decision and sometimes they make the wrong decision if they make the wrong decision you know if they make the wrong decision in the other direction they're probably dead so they choke sometimes and that goes on the evening news for weeks and the thousands and tens of thousands of great things they do, nobody covers that, nobody writes about that. But if they make a mistake, and again, the bad cops, everybody agrees they have to be very tough on bad cops. But sometimes you have a cop or a police person who is a good, a good police person, right? Good. But they choke. You know the timing, and they go through this, and they study this, and they work on it all the time. They literally have a quarter of a second to make some of these decisions. And they make a wrong decision, and it's very devastating. Damn. He would like to see the law enforcement take care of everything. Yeah, we have to stop, you know, uh, I don't know, screaming about defunding the police. Maybe if we could have, I don't know, National Guard police in these situations when these riots are happening to stop people from lighting businesses on fire you wouldn't have citizens going over there to try to help try to do the same thing what is so ironic so it's not surprising but if you watch some of these videos at these antifa riots these blm riots when people get hurt what's the first thing people scream call 911 call the police oh really i thought you wanted to defund the police i thought you hated 12 i thought it was fuck 12 Oh, until you need 12. Now suddenly it's not. You know what the problem is? Is that all of these people at these riots, not all of them, but a lot of these people at these riots and protests are getting unemployment. They, they don't have to work. So they're getting paid, subsidized by taxpayer dollars to go out and protest. How about if you get charged with rioting, you forfeit your unemployment. That would be a start. Just a start. So yeah, we have Donnie... Donnie came out and said it like it was. This is it, It's a no-brainer, though. People are waking up. The silent majority is waking up. The paradigm is shifting. People get it. It makes sense. Just look at the news. Like The only people that I've ever talked to that I personally know who don't think that it was self-defense are people who have only read about the case. They've only read about it. They've, they've never watched it. They haven't seen it. They didn't look into it. They just read about it. And it just seems that if you use Reddit as your source, it's probably not going to be that fair. If you're only reading about something that's very nuanced, has a lot of details, it probably won't translate very well. You're going to get a lot more bias when you're reading somebody's interpretation, their account of it. Now, you obviously know my bias when regarding this situation, but you can just watch the tape yourself. And I think most people who watch the tape would come to the same conclusion that the president just did. And this is the president of the United States. Thank you for being the president of the United States. Now, you might do some other shit that I don't agree with, Donnie. You might one day do something that I really hate. But in this instance, in this situation, 
Bravo, Donnie. You nailed it. You didn't choke this time. And he makes a great point. Sometimes cops choke. They have a split second to make a decision. And we never talk about all the good shit they do. We talk about any time a celebrity goes to a Make-A-Wish Foundation, or they go and they do a nice thing, it's suddenly like everywhere. It's because they got PR. They got agents and publicists. But the everyday lowly cop, the fireman, whatever, the librarian, the teacher, the student teacher, they don't, they don't got publicists. They don't have a publicist. So yeah, I just wanted to, to report on this real quick because it's it's awesome that our president is that he has an opinion like this. It's nice to see that. Uh, I think he took his time to let his people watch the videos and figure out. I don't know if he's actually watched them. It seems like he probably has, but I don't know if he trusts his own people well enough to let him just you know, tell him what happened, and then he'll just run with someone else's opinion. It seems like he's more of a hands-on kind of guy, but that's my opinion, and I don't know everything, so you heard it from the president. He believes Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense. He didn't say those words exactly. That's what I'm inferring. There's a lot of inferring going on, but bam, wham. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Peace. Call your mom. Be a good person.